Jim Buckley was born September 20th, 1934 in Saginaw. He found his love for the game of golf at a young age, caddying for three years at Saginaw Country Club. Uh, now, I don't know how long Jim caddied, uh, but I know he did caddy out there. And I think that we probably played some golf together out there too as caddies because Mondays were was caddies day. And so we got a chance to play there uh, for free uh, every Monday. And that was kind of nice for caddies. Buckley attended Arthur Hill High School where he graduated in 1952. He would go on to play both basketball and golf at Bay City Junior College, graduating in 1954. Played golf in college. So yeah, he was a very good golfer and, and probably still is. Buckley worked various jobs, including shoe and clothing salesman at various local stores and as a construction laborer. He graduated from Central Michigan College in 1958 and a year later earned a secondary education certificate from the newly named Central Michigan University. While at CMU, he worked as a part-time reporter at the Saginaw News and for the Saginaw Recreation Department. He grew up in Saginaw. He, he went to school here. He taught here. Uh, he had the incredible institutional knowledge. He continued to write on a part-time basis while teaching for two years at Saginaw High School. Buckley was offered a full-time job at the News in 1961 by then sports editor Joe Hart. Joe Hart hired him and, and kept him around and there was an opening and the first thing Joe Hart did was say, hey Jim, you want a full-time job? And, and Jim took it and, and was there forever. He felt that like he was born to be a reporter. You know, he loved to write, he was good at it, and he knew he was good at it. Oddly enough, Saginaw was probably the one word that he, most of his typos were on. He, he, it was always S-A-G-N-A-I-A-W or something, because you type it fast and it was, it was the one word that you always checked on one of his stories, because there was a typo in there, I'm sure. In 1971, he became the sports editor. The Old Buckaroo, his nickname while working for the Daily Newspaper, hired a number of sports reporters who would go on to work at the news for decades. The reporters that he hired and the staff he put together, uh, I always thought you could put you could put those, them in Detroit and, it, and you wouldn't have noticed a difference. Uh, Chris Thorne, uh, John Pazanel, Gretchen Fleming, uh, you just go down the list and, and he just did a great job of hiring great writers. And I'm not just saying that because he hired me. He found what he was looking for in, in the right reporters to cover the sports the way he felt that they should be covered. When I went to work there, they, it wasn't just Jim Buckley and Joe Walker. It was, you know, the Doker and the old Buckaroo and Jumbo John Pazanel. They're all, almost like mythical, you know, figures. You know, the great Gretzky. Uh, and for people who read the paper, and back then a lot of people read the paper, uh, it was kind of the source, you know, it was before ESPN and before all that, if you wanted local sports, you read the paper. He saw his job as being uh, a reporter to report the sports, and everybody was equally important. But when, you know, the evolution of, of sports came and girls' sports became more and more important, he, uh, yeah, we, he contributed resources to it, and, and we, I remember covering lots and lots of girls' sports uh, when it was generally in its infancy after Title IX. Well, I don't think he looked at it as, as just girls' sports. I think Jim looked at it as sports, and that's how we looked at sports. He knew all the stories, and because he lived it. I mean, he lived here. He knew, you know, when Saginaw and Arthur Hill played on Thanksgiving. He knew. Uh, when you had to leave school right afterward to get a seat for the Saginaw High Arthur Hill game, because he did it. He served as president of the Arthur Hill Letter Winners Association in 1975 and was instrumental in helping run the annual Saginaw District Golf Tournament. He, you knew it was golf season because he'd come in with his with his golf pants on and, and uh, we always joked that if you want to talk to Jim in the afternoon, you had to know what what uh, course he was on and, and when he would make it, be making the turn. Later on, he joined the Saginaw District Golf Association committee and was a very, very valuable member of that committee for many, many years. Buckley retired April 1st, 1996, after a splendid 35-year career covering sports for the Saginaw News. If you were a high school kid, you had Jim Buckley at your game writing about you and, and gosh, that's the same guy who wrote about you know, Magic Johnson, it's the same guy who, who wrote about, 
you know, the, the Lions, you know, Billy Sims. He was an original board member of the Saginaw County Sports Hall of Fame, which debuted in 2002 and served as secretary and golf outing chairman.